Chris Mason Marin. He works on Sprague in the 24. Six White three. flag and one to go. One more lap. Dennis Setzer. I kind of think you'll see Dennis win a few more races, Bob, because Bob is so far. Compton threw one on Sprague and turned him in turn two. Or are they going to make a dive on the outside in the final lap? That's not going to work. Just Five. can't get the grip. It's a win. That's Sarah Winston. Good for him. It's a win for Dodge. It is a win for Dennis. Jack Sprague, I think he just gained 10 points on Ron Hornibank. Good extra fuel. Rick said, I just had a gut feeling. I put in extra fuel. Setzer did not. Well, we've got two laps to find out if he's got enough because we're going green here at Texas Motor Speedway. And the two of them get a great jump over Jay Sauter in third. And Biffle's got a good run. Look at him here into one. He's right there. But Setzer is pulling away. So if he doesn't have a fuel problem. Keep going. Keep digging. And, oh. Boy, Biffle got a little loose. In fact, Biffle's under attack from Sauter. And we saw Biffle loose before the yellow. This time, Look at Bob, Sauter. Sauter really coming on strong, trying inside, to get underneath inside, Biffle. Inside. He is under him. He's past him. White flag. Here we go. One lap. One and a half miles to go. Keep digging. Sauter is closing. Sauter's not done. Sauter is not done. This is amazing. Look at the right front corner on the number three Goodrent Chevrolet. It's junk. Aerodynamically, this should not be happening. He's got two corners to take a shot at winning his first race in 1999. Coming through three, around four. Everything is big in Texas. Is it going to be a big win for Setzer or the it. number All three? Right. It's going to be Setzer. Dennis Setzer with his first win in 1999, and they did have enough fuel. Congratulations to Howard Comstock and the entire team. Again, a reminder that we'll have an interview with... Eleventh place, Mike Wallace and Andy Houston. They're a lap down, really battling it out for that position. And they've uh, battled for some positions before. Yes, white flag is in the wind for Dennis Setzer. Looking shoulder and all. Here's that fourth place battle. Jack Spray looks to the inside of Steve Grissom. Last chance in turn one. Not there. The Terry Cook the, tries him. He did look to the inside again, though. Terry Cook's part of that battle. And here comes Setzer off. Turn five the last time. Checker play. Dennis Setzer wins it. Here in Nazareth, Pennsylvania, there's Joe Rutman coming around to take second. Greg Biffle will be third. Sprague pushes way. That's for that's for eight spot. Side by side again. David Starr has pressure tires and Brendan gone. White flag. White flag. Five. White flag. Less than a lap away from the checkered flag. Final lap. There is Setzer out of turn two. Bliss in second. Crawford third. Down on a turn four. 42 year old Dennis Setzer wins at Martinsville Speedway. Sets of bliss, Crawford, Daughter, and Terry Cook in the top five. 14 caution flags. Dennis Setzer sets the pace. John Wood right behind him. Green and white nope. checkered coming up. The veteran with the big jump. That's all he's going to need, too. I guarantee you that. He won't make a mistake. In the meantime, John Wood's got a whole bunch of Brendan gone all over the back end. Dennis Setzer putting about six truck links between himself and second place John Wood. The white flag flies as they cross the start finish line. Watch Musgrave and Hamilton back there. They're really duking it out. Brendan Gaughan trying to get up to the back of John Wood, but I don't think he's got enough truck to do it. In the meantime, he's been caught up. Dennis Setzer in the 46 Axiom. Hamilton into the back of him, giving him a little help here. Coming out of turn number four, Dennis Setzer wins race number two at Mesa Marin. What a race. This is what it's oh, yeah, all about. White flag just Drop flew, gentlemen. Dennis Setzer out in front as he has a straightaway and a half to go. Dennis Setzer in the Axiom Chevrolet looking to repeat. 
his win here a year ago, as well as go two in a row on short tracks. It's Dennis Setzer taking the checkered flag. Uh, tip of the hat to those guys. I mean, strong, very strong in Bakersfield. Whoa, trouble in front straight. Candy got... That's going to be bad. Look at that. Davis. Did you see Travis Boppa light it up to go sideways? Forget it. He's gone. That's going to give the race to... Uh, to Dennis Setzer right now, but look at Ted Musgrave going for the third position on the inside of John Wood. Travis Pompel spinning the tires, seized up the 50 of John Wood, that allowed Ted Musgrave to get such a good run on him and trying to move into the third position. White flag flies for your leader as he goes by the start finish line. Oh, bumping and bagging. Carl Edwards on the outside. The checkered flag will fly for short track ace Dennis Setzer. Good job, guys. Way to go. There's the wreck is on, Andy Houston. David starts around. He's going again. Andy time. Houston got fun. Coming out of turn number four. Carl Edwards almost into the wall. The white flag flies. Oh. Dennis Setzer. Carl Edwards. Carl Damn Edwards. Star. I'm telling you, it ain't over. He's gonna give him a he's gonna get after him right here. On your bumper. Well, he, he drove it in way too hard. Lost the front uh, end. He, he did. He just overdrove it. Three back now, four back. David Starr's going to have a run on it, and, and, and Carl had to get out of the gas, and it opened the door for Starr. Starr's going to clear him. Side by side for second. Dennis Setzer out in front through three and four. Whoa. Carl Edwards making his way back around. As they come out of turn number four, Dennis Setzer, short track slayer, is the winner at Lowe's Motor Speedway. Wow. What a win. What a deal. Unbelievable win for, for Dennis 40 Setzer. 40 years old tomorrow. Is this going to be a birthday present for him or what? This would be a big win as the white flag comes out for Dennis Setzer. He continues to follow Mike Skinner around the track. Skinner a lap down. Actually on the lead lap, but just in front of our leader. Currently being shown in the 11th position. Steve Park right in front of him in the 10th position. No one has repeated the wins at Texas other than Brendan Gaughan. Dennis Setzer could become our second repeat winner at this mile and a half track. As he comes down across the start-finish line, Dennis Setzer will win the O'Reilly 400K. What a happy team down there on pit road. Danny. There's one lap of racing to go as Musgrave brings the number one Dodge on the inside of the track, and Dennis Setzer will take the white flag. And just as we anticipated, Bobby Hamilton, the 04, went to the high side. And as soon as the white flag came out, the yellow flag came after it, meaning... Dennis Setzer will win the Paramount Health Insurance 200. There will not be a green-white checkered after the white flag has been displayed. You got to make about another half a lap under caution. NASCAR has let us know Dennis Setzer took the white flag and then the caution flag came out. And so it will be Dennis Setzer claiming his first win in 2005. Remember, the minute that caution was displayed, the field was frozen. They came across right there, Setzer, Kyle Busch, Bobby Hamilton, Kevin Harvick, and Mike Skinner. Bobby Labonte being his teammate this weekend, I think has been a big plus for that team because Bobby and Tony both in the cup cars qualified very well. Transfer some of that information over to this guy. He wins the race. And with more from the team of the 46, Wendy, I think you're standing by La Cruci. It was one year ago that Toyota got his first victory with Travis Quabble, and on the pit box that day was Eric Phillips. Now Chevy has their first big victory at Michigan. A win for Dennis Setzer tonight would also mean two races in a row for Dennis, and he's only done that one other time in his truck series career, and that was back in 2003 with Mason Moran and Martinsville. Dennis Setzer, 12 starts at the Milwaukee Mile. Eight of them in the Truck Series, four in the Bush Series. His best finish before tonight, second in a Truck Series race at the Milwaukee Mile. As he works his way through the final turn, coming out of turn number four, the Toyota Tundra Milwaukee 200 winner will be Dennis Setzer. What an incredible race. And here comes second we'll race, Jack Bradley. This race, and the 46 is up front. But look at the 17. The 17 is coming on the outside. We saw the speed out of the 17. Now they may black flag him for jumping that start because he got onto the outside of two trucks.
You can pass to the right, though. Yeah, but not before the green flag is displayed. If they deem that he jumped before the green flag was displayed, they will black flag him. But he was able to get by the five truck of Mike Skinner. He's only got two trucks in front of him, but he doesn't have a whole lot of time. Dennis Setzer looking for his third win of 2005 out in front of the field. Todd Bodine would love to go back to back as Dennis Setzer had done earlier this year. He's sitting in second. White flag out, last lap. We did not see the black flag for David Ruderman. Todd Bodine tries to look to the inside of Dennis Setzer. And Todd's getting a run off the corner. Got a little bit of a wiggle down there. Is it enough? A little bit loose for Todd Bodine. He's got one chance to go as they work their way into three and four. It's Dennis Setzer just in front of Todd Bodine. Setzer goes a little high. Todd Bodine stays down low. The momentum is going to carry Dennis Setzer to the start finish line, and he'll win the Bill Ford Tough 225. What a terrific job by Dennis Setzer and his punch, but what a horrible break for Terry Cook. Inside of five laps to go for his first victory in 71 starts. And he cuts down a down and makes it as they come good. up through three and four, about to take the white flag. This will be the final lap for Dennis Setzer. It sets her out in front of Todd Cleaver, just over five eighths of a mile to go. Got a great battle. I think David Rudin was able to pass a couple trucks you, since you even mentioned that. Moved up into the top ten. He has the white flags out. Only six trucks on the lead lap. That is how dominant the 46 team and Dennis Setzer has been. The short track ace comes out of turn number four, and he will win his fourth race of 2005. Wow. But it had drama, didn't it, Rick? Written off. We didn't know he was going to win his fourth race with about 10 to go. Unbelievable. Dennis Setzer coming home with the win. Unofficially, Todd Kleber second. Ron Hornaday third. Matt Kraft. Coming down for the white flag. Does he have enough fuel to get there? He's got two, three truck links on Jack Sprague. The white flag flies. One half mile to go. Dennis Setzer in front of Jack Sprague. What a great job by Tom McAmey. He's got one quarter of a mile to go. Dennis Setzer, the 46-year-old out of Newton, North Carolina, comes out of turn number four, pit strategy, wins the race in Mansfield. How about that? No pit stops. Win number 17 for Dennis Setzer. And I'm guessing Dennis Setzer won't even be able to do a celebratory burnout. He may run out of fuel on the back stretch. I don't think that'll bother him one <laughs> bit. Not at all. He's going to get the trophy and take it home. It. But I, once again, Richie Waters has come through. I, I know one thing, if I did these races every week, whatever Richie did, that's what I did. <laughs> Coming out of turn number four, the green flag back in the air. We're back underway at Martinsville Speedway. Two laps of racing to go. Great restart for Dennis Setzer. It really was. It almost looked like Johnny Benson stopped a little bit there, maybe to make it look like Dennis Setzer jumped. I think he was trying to lay back and get a run on him, but he didn't time it right. Setzer's run a flawless race. Out of four, the white flag in the air. And the other thing is, he wanted to be sure he had a cushion so that the, fi the 51 could get a run on him. If Dennis Setzer can keep enough fuel in this thing, he will win it for the third time oh, at Martinsville. Uh -oh. Here comes oh, Kyle Bush. Oh, oh, He's kicking the nose. Oh, no, 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 no. Around goes the 23. Around goes the 51. And coming out of four, Dennis Setzer will win at Martinsville. Whatever. Oh, no. The field going by the 51 and the 23. Now Kyle Busch gets it straightened back out as they celebrate. That's just all wrong right there. I knew, I knew Kyle was going to make a run on him. He was going to get a, try to get a nose under him. But, Thank uh, you, Dennis. Thank you, bud. You're awesome.